Hi guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. I get a lot of these oil filled column heaters in uh, the e-waste uh, and I get them in house lots I clean out. They've, uh, they're very popular heater, great for bedrooms, small rooms, they're relatively efficient, they're low fire risk and uh, they work via the a heating element in a special oil. I have read that it's like a vegetable oil but I think there's various types of oil they use. They don't hold a lot and they work via the oil heating up and a convection uh, current happening and there's a lot high uh, surface area to transfer the heat to the air and uh, yeah they work great. They're pretty cheap to buy uh, and I don't usually sell them through my shop unless they look near new. Here's a couple I have in the shop at the moment. You can see these ones pretty much look brand new, nice and clean. Uh, I've tested them electrically, they test out fine, they work great. I've got $20 each on them and they've been in here a couple of weeks. So they're not super easy things to sell. Mind you, it is summer in Australia and selling heaters in summer is kind of a bit like trying to sell ice to the Eskimos. Uh, they will certainly sell much quicker through winter. But there you go, they're pretty much as new and secondhand, but tested, I get about $20 for them. So if there's any issues, like a damaged cord, um, or you know a particularly dirty heater, and often they go rusty, because this is just steel, and people, even though the manufacturers strongly recommend you don't, people do hang damp towels over them to dry, and the moisture does eventually rust them. So if they're at all shabby or not working purely because there's some electrical fault, uh, I don't worry about trying to fix them. It's just not worth the time. So scrapping them out, what value do we have? Well, there's not, not much to them really. You've got a couple of brackets with wheels on the base. They're only attached. Most of them are only attached with a wing nut. So we'll take those off in a second. Uh, the rest of the heater is basically a reservoir and it's pretty much just 100% steel. This cover here is where your uh, mains wire goes in, your controls are, and we'll just take that off and show you what's in there. All right, one screw holds the cover on. You can see we've got the heating element down the base here, a bit of wiring. Uh, there's a, a safety thermal switch there. And we have your main switch, we have a connector block, and this is the thermostat, which adjusts it to click in and out at certain temperatures. And I think that's actually an overbalanced thing, that one, a balance switch, so that if the item does lay on its side, it uh, switches off. So I just checked this switch with this meter, and uh, it is indeed a... Um, a switch and it's quite sensitive in that when I had it perfectly vertical the switch made connection the moment it was slightly to one side it's clicked out so it's certainly a safety switch um, I think that's actually saleable I'm going to put that in the shop for five dollars I would think some home hobbyist might have a use for that uh, what else did we get well connector blocks I always grab them and throw them in a jar they sell quite well same with switches any switches I get out of appliances that are in good condition, I throw in a jar, they sell quite well. Uh, there was a tiniest bit of aluminium. I did micro-scrap this thermostat assembly. I figured that that wouldn't be saleable. It's basically custom made to suit this heater. So that's just the remains of the plastic. A uh, tiny bit of aluminium was in that. Um, a few bits of little steel. This was the other um, temperature sensor, mostly steel. Uh, and the brackets from the wheels. Uh, small amount of hardware here, which goes in a jar. Now these two tiny silver contacts were out of the um, thermostat switch. So I always clip them off, put them in a jar for maybe silver recovery down the track. If I never get around to it, I'll probably sell the jar full on eBay. Small handful of rubbish, really, out of this whole scrap job. That's all I'm going to put in the bin. I broke the pins out, brass pins out of the mains plug. 
few little bits of plastic aren't recyclable. The larger bits I've made sure are nice and clean and I'll put them in the recycle bin. The actual heater itself can go as um, pressing steel. The oil in it shouldn't be a problem. It, it probably means we'll get a, a price for dirty pressing steel. But, um, you know, it weighs about 10 kilos. Uh, even if we only get 10 cents a kilo, there's a dollar and at least it will be recycled. The little um, cover at one end is steel as well, so that's all recyclable. Uh, the wheels I've taken off, I'll show you something I'm going to do with those shortly. Uh, small pile of brass, just some bits out of the thermostat. Uh, the terminal's off the end of the wire. You do need to check those with a magnet, and they're all definitely brass. Some, uh, some cheap appliances actually use steel terminals. I guess they save a dollar where they can. Uh, a nice bundle of clean wire. Now just a point on these terminals. This is probably only about oh, 10 cents worth of brass. I did quickly weigh it to get a bit of an idea. Uh, I certainly wouldn't slave away clipping terminals to make a few cents. But to sell the wire and get a good price for the wire, you've got to clip the terminals off. So I might as well save them. So the wire there is uh, not a great deal. That's about 200 grams. So it's probably around about 50 cents worth of insulated copper wire. But look, this whole scrap job only took about 10 minutes and it's amazing how it all adds up. So the good thing is that we're really hardly throwing anything in the bin. Just a small little handful of plastics and the, the rubbery plug. And now I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these wheels. A super quick little recycling project here or upcycling this is a scrap bit of timber um, we're putting a pergola in at home and that's just an offcut I pick up little bits of timber like this all the time uh, a lot of people would just throw them in the firewood pile uh, this is a piece of pine you could easily use an old um, piece of hardwood anything any scrap bit of timber all I'm gonna do is put these wheels evenly spaced on the timber and screw them down and make a little pot plant trolley. There we go. That must be nearly a record time for a little upcycling project. A nice little pot plant stand to wheel around the, uh, sorry, the veranda. Um, Perhaps down a concrete garden path, the wheels would work for perfectly fine. Uh, they're strong enough to handle a pretty good pot plant size. That chunk of timber will weather nicely. It'll last for quite a long time. And uh, I'm going to stick that at the front of the shop. And if I can't get $5 for that little trolley in the first weekend, I'm, I'm in the wrong business. I'm pretty sure that'll sell straight away. And how good's that? From basically a piece of firewood and a couple of old wheels off a heater, a uh, good little return there. So just to sum up, we've um, scrapped out this oil heater that wasn't worth selling. And it really took us oh, 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer because I was videoing. But it's a very quick job. And we've reduced something that often people just throw out or leave on the nature strip. To um, everything recyclable, a bit of return, um, a copper wire brass, the little silver buttons there, bit of hardware, aluminium, a saleable little balance switch, uh, switches, connecting blocks, they all sell well, I just put them in jars in the shop, a little bit of steel, uh, steel for the scrap bins, nice little pot plant trolley, upcycle job, people love up upcycling. So there we've got everything's recyclable except a small handful of rubbish, just put that in my wheelie bin you won't even know it's in there and uh, there you go well worth scrapping out a job like this if you can't sell it or if it's got an issue much better than uh, lugging it out to the transfer station leaving it on the nature strip uh, now they don't always have this little balance switch this is the first one of these ones I've actually seen the last one I did had this timer and uh, these electric timers I'd, I've sold these before too get five dollars for that someone will use that in a project 
So there's a bit of good value in these sort of things. It's not always the scrap metal. It's just a matter of um, having a look, seeing what to do with things, and importantly, reducing what goes into landfill. So thanks for watching. Bit of a different video this one. I didn't actually plan it to go this way when I started. Um, I just had a few of these heaters come in and thought I should video this and show you guys. Catch you in the next video.